All right, problem solving with Crouton Ramones House Math.com. Again, I want to emphasize that this is hours and hours condensed into just a short few minutes here on these videotapes. We always start in the concrete with blocks, then we move on to pictures, and then we move on to symbols. Here I'm going to not quite follow that order. We're going to go from here to symbols. And also, something I haven't mentioned in any of my videos, we always tell stories. Lots and lots of stories to make the math concepts easy and fun and apply to the real world. I mean, even if it's just like three cookies plus two more cookies, and then you get the blocks out to explain what that is, or multiplication or division, or whatever we're doing. You tell stories. Okay. Excuse me. This is a problem solving story right here. And there's a whole bunch of time you'd spend on how to get the algebra out of a paragraph of words. But I'm going to skip all over that and just work on this part right here. Any little kid can look at this. And we're going to talk and see some same stuff here. And we're going to talk about what is this symbol right here? This symbol right here, what does it mean? It means, well, everybody says equals, but it means same as. This is same as this. This is the same as this. These are same. What's over here is the same as what's over here. And any little kid can look at that and tell you, uh-uh, <laughs> they don't look same. And further, if I put the symbols up here, 3x, these are x's, plus 2, these are units, it's the same thing as 2x, plus 5, um, now for sure it doesn't look same. In fact, 8th graders, 7th graders, 6th graders, heck, even ninth graders will tell you, that looks a little scary sometimes if you can't remember the rules and all this stuff about crossing over the equal sign and balancing equation. We're just counting and we're seeing stuff that's the same. I'm going to show you how easy this is. Again, what are we doing here? Well, we're trying to d discover, now that we have an equal sign, what x is. What is x equal? And here I can tell you a quick story. Like I said, I'm not going to write it down, but just a quick story. This is a one moment in time. Uh, Joe and John are uh, well, out of town. He's two miles out of town. This is Joe. John's five miles out of town. John's walking slow. Joe's walking faster. You can see that if John, is, or excuse me, Joe's walking faster than John, he's going three miles an hour, and uh, John's over here walking two miles an hour, he's not walking quite as fast, that this guy's going to catch this guy. So we're going to have two questions. How long does it take? How far out of town are they when, they get, when, when Joe catches John? Simple. All right. But for little kids, we'll skip over the story and we'll just have the blocks. I showed this to a four-year-old student the other day and said, can you see stuff that's same on both sides? And he looked at me and said, well, actually, he didn't say anything. He just looked at me like, well, that's dumb. That's easy. That's so simple. I said, well, can you please just show me the stuff that's same on both sides? Well, and you see how I even have it so that it's very clear, the stuff that's same on both sides? Okay. So... And I would have the little kid do it, but he didn't film well. Let's put it that way. It would take too long to do it. But anyway, okay, so there's, there's that that's the same on both sides. Here's this that's the same on both sides. Oh, x equals 3. Now, let's see it again because adults are always I, I'm just amazed. It can't be that easy. Yes, it can. Let's put them down here this time. Oh, what? Oops, oops, oops. Same, same, same. Okay, I couldn't take 3. All right, okay. Same, same. Now, any of you math teachers will see the rules that you try to put into these kids' heads, and then if they forget the rules, they're screwed when it comes to taking a test. But do you see now that all I did was hero zero, no fun, get back to one, well, we didn't even do no fun, get back to one, we just did hero zero. All we did was find the stuff that was same on both sides and get out of there, x equals three. And see, I could draw it, I could do this. Little kids love this. They really do. Can you see stuff that's same on both sides? Take your finger and erase the stuff that's same on both sides. I'm going to use a cloth. You see stuff that's same on both sides? A little drawing here? Oh! Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you're saying. Oh, took two. Oh. And again, x equals three. Done. Hmm. So what are the, uh, what are the rules? I'm not going to give you the rules. We will do a whole bunch of these problems, actually. Oops, sorry. What I did was I took 2x away from this side, and 2x away from that side. Zero, zero, yay! And then I took away 2 from this side, and 2 from that side. 
And I've actually had algebra teachers tell me, oh, you gotta rewrite it every time. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Uh, x equals 3. Now, if x equals 3, that means, what does that mean? That means that these x's were trying to fool you into thinking they were 10's, but they're not, they're just 3's. So, that means every x was a 3. And over here, that means that every x was a 3. So now we can see that, look, it took 3 hours for him to catch him, and they were how far out of town? Well, let's see here, 3, 6, 9, and 2 more is 11. 6 and 5 is 11. 11 equals 11 every day of the week. All we did was put 3 back in for x. Most students can't do that second step. They, they can get to here and then they don't know what to do. How easy is this? So we've done, again, a little combining. For little kids, can you see how little kids are? They get the skip count. How much math goes on here? I mean, for the little kids, 9 and 2, 11, right? Making, counting all these guys up. How much math is there here? And can little kids do this? Little kids can absolutely do this. Does not have to be, wait, you don't have to wait till they're 14 for Pete's sakes. All right, how easy is this stuff? Really? This easy. All right, let's do another one. And is there any more explanation? I'm sure there's more explanation when I look at this video. There's a whole bunch more I probably could have said, but you know what, close enough. Let's do another one. Oh my goodness. We're gonna skip up a whole bunch. Like I said, we're gonna go through a bunch of stuff before we get to this, right? We do a whole bunch of simple problems like this. Well, now I'm gonna, actually, you know what? We'll keep it even that much more simple, like that, all right? And then we'll make this, oh, we'll put three over here, and we'll put more, more, give me more. Okay, so now we're gonna have three, six, seven, and I got three, okay, fine. All right, so now, I'm not even gonna tell a story. I'm just gonna say, hey, can you see stuff that's same on both sides? And then write it out. What I have here is one, two, three, four, five, seven. Little kids, again, look, they're counting X's. They gotta count to five. Get the one-to-one -one correspondence down. I'm serious. We're talking about tiny little kids doing this kind of math. Five X plus three is the same thing as four X plus what I put over here, seven. Do we see stuff that's same on both sides? Yep, and I'm telling you, any little kid can do this. And they do, they look at you like, well, that's just silly. Older kids get scared, like, oh, is there supposed to be? Oh, uh, all right. Again, oh, we're done. X is four. So each one of those were pretending there were fours. I'm not gonna evaluate this equation for, for this value because it takes too long. I don't have enough time here. But, you know, I get the fours up. 23, right? 16 up 20. 23 equals 23 every time. Done. Okay, that's skipping ahead for you adults. The kids will get lost there because what do you do? But fine. Actually, you know, if you watch it a couple times, probably not. All right, let's skip ahead to one more and we're done. But do you see how easy this stuff is? That's the point of this. It's just so painfully easy. Why are you teaching it where they get confused and it's hard and there's tears? It's just ridiculous. All right. I don't know. I'm just putting some blocks up here. I'm going to put another one over here for fun. And now we're going to go back with the hero zero and if I get back to one and I'll evaluate this one just for fun. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna put some some of these other blocks in here, and we'll make it even easier. Um, ba -doo -boo -boo. All right. And again, degree of difficulty, and put the child in a situation where they can't fail, and then they succeed, and then math is fun. Oops. Let's put this over like this. All right. And this is to build the concept. What are we doing? All right. So what do we have here? We have five x again, plus three. 100% on the fly, folks. <laughs> no rehearsal, one take, Eddie. 2x plus, what is that, 12. 9, 3, 6, 9, 12. See, and again, the kids can skip count and have fun. All right, do you see stuff that's same? Get these out of the way. Do you see stuff that's same? I see stuff that's same. That's same. That's same. Uh, that's same. That's same. Uh-oh, now we got a problem. Okay, and what did I do? I did this. I took 2x, yay, hero zero. And I took 2x out of here, right? Which left me with 3x. But then when I took 3 out, and I took 3 out, that said 3x is the same thing as 9. Uh oh, now what? Well, the equal sign never lies. And can you see that what I have here is a rectangle, and what I have here is a rectangle? In fact, I could have it like that, but I'd have to reshape it so these rectangles are the same. Because what I have, a little drawing here, is a rectangle equaling a rectangle, and the equal sign never lies, tells me that one side is 3, the other side is x, this one tells me it's 9. 
Okay, so I have a rectangle where one side's three, the other side's got to be three. Right? So can you see why it is? See, most kids will try to do multiplication here right? because they know three times three is nine. But what we're really doing is no fun. Get back to one. Wow, my symbols are starting to get a little crowded. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. All right. So can you see very simply that what we have here, x equals three, and you can explain, oh, look, no fun, get back to one. I don't want to know about three x, I want to know about one x. And then I can put it back in there and see that five times three is 15 plus three is, right? 18. Two times three is six plus 12 is 18. 18 equals 18 every day of the week. Hmm, I have no room to put the in there. 18 is the same thing as 18. What a mess! Okay, this is exactly how you don't want to put it on board, but it's because I'm confined to space.